Okay, one, um, how's Damien doing? And two, how do you think severe, How did what? How's Damien doing? I know he went home, and how severe, you, how, your thoughts on his play tonight? You get one question, which one? Which one do you want? First one, okay. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow um, to go to the funeral. Um, I wanted to take the whole team, but we got to go to Indianapolis, come back, go to Spokane, come back, go to London. They don't need another trip. Uh, but Kaysen is family, so he's going to go with us. And then we'll, we'll come back with Damien. So he went down. It was a family uh, viewing today that he needed to be there for. Um, it was amazing. He, he left after practice or as practice was ending, and all the guys hugged him. And I mean, it, it's what's happened. He's got family here. And it's these these players. They all greeted him when he came back. He didn't get in until 1150, and they were all waiting for him at the lodge to um, just let him know and, and hang out with them. So it'll be good to get him back. Um, and Severe did good. He played more minutes than I wanted to play him. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think our guards are going to play 25, 20 to 25, 27, depending on who's playing well. Antonio keeps amazing me. Uh, CJ's doing his thing. Kaysen, Severe. We got four really good guards. I thought Chris Livingston banged the boards and rebounded and toughness and could have played him more. But I was trying to let Jacob play through, like, come on, kid, rough it up, you know. And that's why I left him on the floor. Um, but, it, you know, Chris did well. I do, I told him after. I, the game wasn't one that I wanted to shove him in the game. So, but he's going to be fine. I just told him, just be ready. You know, and, and Ogana, wow. Like... He impacts the game. The minute he walks in the court, not afraid. How about he shot a, a right-handed jump hook from 12 feet air ball, but he had the courage to shoot it. Yes. By the way, Mike and Molly McGuire are going to come in after. Um, and you got, if you have questions for them or anything. Um, wasn't it neat, though? They're all here. They, they came, parents, siblings, children, some other people from the town. I mean, there were a lot of, they, they all came, which is great. I mean, you know, I'm not one that likes to go to these kind of things unless I'm watching one of my players. I, this is my life. So, but they come in here and see it and they want to stay and be in Lexington tomorrow some and enjoy the city and, um, and I'm going to say this again because I, I grabbed the family in the hallway and told them again how it happened. I was sent the picture, don't know who sent it, immediately saw it. Obviously, my grandfather was a coal miner. I said, I want this guy at one of our games. Find out who it is. We'll give him the VIP. And then I didn't think about it again. By the time I got to the office, it had circled the world. And it was because here's a hardworking guy that is into his family and his children enough to forget about showering, cleaning. Not, I'm just going to go be with my son, and I don't want to waste time. And, you know, it was one of those feel good. So to have him here and, and be a part of it. And let me, let me say this about Duquesne, too. You know, I'm a fan of their program. I grew up in Pittsburgh. Uh, Keith's done a great – he just stuck a team together of, like, 11 new guys. And let me explain. By the middle of this season, we will say, we beat a good team. Look at them. We beat a good team. They missed some shots. They were a little bit, you know, things that they won't do later. They're trying to figure each other out. Um, but they got good guys. And they posted us up. They, you know, they did what they wanted at times. Yes. Curious about uh, Uganda and the potential down the road with Severe and, and Case and the way they pressure out front and having a guy like that in the back that can change shots like he Yeah, we have, we have a lot of options. You know, the thing I told the guards today is, look, you're going to play between 20 and 25, 6, 7 minutes. They all played 27 today. And I said, and if one of you really is playing well, you'll play more. And if someone's struggling... 
This is brain surgery. You're going to play less. And so, and the same holds true with other guys. When you have a deep team, you know, it holds you accountable. Now, it doesn't mean this is the, for the rest of the season. Get yourself right. Let's go. Next game. Move on. Yes. Coach, for the second straight game, uh, CJ and Antonio were the two leading scorers. Uh, it looks like that you guys went uh, 59 57 percent from three how much does that open up the floor for your offense when you have two guys that can fill it up like that well we're not throwing it inside to oscar right now so when you throw it inside uh, we threw it some to uh, uh, ugana how about the one he kicked out for a three the guys went crazy in the huddle telling them what a great job he did but no it it helps us case can shoot it severe shooting it way better um you know we just got to you know, like I said, this next game, the reason this was a good game, I knew it would be a rough house game. I know how Keith coaches, not giving you an inch. The next game we play is going to be a rough house game. Now, either you can play in a rough house game or you can't. If you can't, don't worry about it. Go on to the next game. You just won't play much because this, this game will be, it's going to be a rough house. If, you know, offensive rebounds, you're going to have to work like crazy because they're going to hold blockouts. You're going to have to fight. They're going to fight through screens. They're going to be up in you. They're going to collapse defensively. They're as well coached a team as we'll play all year. And they had Gonzaga beat, I guess, tonight. They lost by one. Gonzaga, they number one in the country. What's Michigan State then? Was the boat moving or something? I don't know. Yes. What is Oscar's status right now? How far along is he compared to last time you talked about him? And, and what about Tuesday for him? I don't know yet. So, you know, he's got to go through some workouts, and if it swells or does stuff, we're just going to have to wait. Um, that surgery, he's ahead of schedule. But, you know, you got to be able to stop and turn and, you know, and he's not – it's not ligament or anything like that, but there was an operation where they went inside that area where it's, it'll still be sore for a minute. So we'll have to see, I hope, but have no idea. I did not think Severe would play as many minutes as he played, but he got tired. He said, you know, I never take myself out and I took myself out. Yes. Coach, obviously you came into this game with exactly 40 minutes of film on this particular Duquesne team, but coming out of the game, what would you describe as their uh, identity going forward? They're going to be a tough out, and I'm going to tell you why. They got really good guards, and they got guys that aren't afraid to be physical. We had two rebounds offensively at halftime, two. They checked us. They bodied us. They didn't let – they got almost every 50-50 ball in the first half, and we talked about it. But that's how they're going to play. But here's the big thing. They have good guards. Their guards are good. The, the guys inside, listen, when we played behind them, the guy turned and scored. One kid 6'10". So what I will tell you is as this season goes on, you're going to see, one, Keith's a hell of a coach. But, two, you're going to see um, that team. Because like the, the, the fans here, it's like what I have to do every year. You get a brand new team, and early on they're going to struggle a little bit and make some mistakes, and then as it goes on they get better and better, and by the end they'll be really – when you have good guards in college basketball, you got a chance. And they got good guards. I mean, how do you think Jacob has played so far? He's done okay. He's done okay. He's got to be better than he is, but he's done okay. He's way better than he was, but, you know, I mean – Playing through bumps, you know, wanting contact, 50-50 balls, rebounding in traffic, you know, those things that you're going to win at the highest level. Um, and, you know, Damien comes back, it forces you to, you know, because they may be trying to do the same thing to Damien. John, how pleased were you tonight with the team's ball movement? We get 
22 assists on the 28 made field goals. Uh, we're, we're, we, can I say this? We have good guards. <laughs> and when you have good guards, you get that kind of play. And, um, like, the good news is um, if they play 25 minutes and they get 18 points, they're evaluated by 40 minutes. That's how this, the analytics go. And so the best time, I've said this before, the max minutes is about 28, and then you start going the other way, your efficiency. So they're playing about that max that they want to play if they're worried about efficiency, which I am too. You've talked about going from 11 guys to eight guys by the end of the season. Is, is part of that spreading minutes around, maybe limiting Oscar's minutes from no? <laughs> No, I just, he can't play 36 minutes. And, and part of the reason he can is there's this kid, Ugana, that's going to deserve some minutes. And then the question is, can they play together? I don't know. I haven't coached them together. Ugana, you tell him one time, and he's got what you say. One time. You don't have to say him twice. I already told him, nope. Whatever I tell him, he does. And, um, but... You know, there may be games where he's doing what he needs to and we leave him in the game, but, you know, the issue is right now you're going to play more people, and then when you get down to it, you're going to play seven or eight guys. Um, the hard thing becomes, you know, you're talking four really good guards. Like here, here's the other one. Chris Livingston was really good today. Probably should have played more minutes, but I – wanted Jacob to play through bumps and figure stuff out. So I played him more. But if that were the continual thing, Chris would have played 27 minutes instead of 19. He'd have played the extra minutes. But he did good. Yes? I wonder, if Oscar had been healthy from the get-go, do you think Ugana gets this opportunity? And, and how much has he exceeded what you thought he might do coming in? Well, he's exceeded, but um, you probably are right. Um, but, you know, I mean, Lance fought like heck today. He did better, you know, and I think both of them. You know, there may be a game that it's Lance's game, and there may be a game that it's Ugana's game, but the question is who, who becomes that four? Is it Damian? Is it Jacob? You know, I've been playing Chris at four. Not a bad team. A little bit smaller, but as long as Chris rebounds, who cares? Um, then you almost have four guards in because he can shoot and play too. But, you know, this, again, th this was a good win. I was worried this morning. I was really worried about Howard. And then worried about this game because I watched 40 minutes of them just pound Montana by 100. And I'm like, what in the world? Um, but, you know, good game, and I wish him well. Keith knows I'm rooting for Duquesne. And um, I go back to the Red Manning days and the John Sinicola days. Some of you Pittsburgh people know what I'm talking about. So it's a terrific program, and they're in a good league. Um, all right, let me go do radio. We'll get the uh, McGuire's out here for you. <laughs>